Welcome to this introduction to the Calvarian VM Provisioning and Management Solution. The VM Provisioning and Management Solution layout allows you to deploy and manage virtual machines in a mixed cloud infrastructure. It's ITIL friendly and allows end-to-end -end life cycle management of those virtual machines. Using the Calvarian Automation Portal or the Service Desk, it allows self-service facilities. And out of the box, it supports Microsoft Hyper-V, Virtual Machine Manager, EC2, Azure and vSphere. Okay, so we can see the Calvarian Automation Portal and if you've not seen it before I'd encourage you to check our other videos on the YouTube channel. We're going to go straight into the VM provisioning and management service and you can see there are a number of offerings here. And those offerings are tied to the specific platforms that we deploy to. Obviously as we deploy to different platforms we need different information to drive those requests. So we're going to take a look at deploying a standard virtual machine into EC2. So the first thing I'll need to provide is the FQDN of the machine that's going to be created. I'm just going to type that in. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to make that more visible. And we need to provide a description. So we can see the infrastructure region and the template. This information comes from the database, the automation database, and Orchestrator will keep that up to date for us. So as new templates are available, we can see them. I need to select the size of the virtual machine and the size of the C drive and of course the virtual network where that machine is going to be deployed. If I want I can specify an expiry date for the machine and the machine will be removed once that expiry date is met. We can see within the portal the data is passed through as XML and we can also see the status of that request. So I'm just going to refresh now and we can see that has been locked by the automation and run book 10.2 is currently processing. So let's take a look at those run books okay this is version 3 of the solution it's been around for some time now there's been a number of enhancements added over time you can see we like to keep each of our run books simple and straightforward where possible and we make use of the run book management IP to dynamically trigger the run book so it can work out depending on the selected um, infrastructure that we're targeting and the action that is required which run book is going to be fired off so you can see uh, in our EC2 runbooks, our deploy standard VM from template is already executing. There's a bit of management of the database information to start off with. And then we make use of the EC2 integration pack to do the heavy, heavy lifting. We can see for Hyper-V there are also a number of actions and also for vSphere. Those actions follow very similar patterns. Each one uses the appropriate integration packs to do the work. Um, but generally they're all following a very similar pattern so let's have a look in EC2 and we're just going to do a quick refresh okay and that's just refreshing and you can see a new machine has been created yet yeah, it hasn't been tagged with a name yet that happens slightly further along in the process after the instance has been initialized okay I'm just going to expand out those run books again and deploy standard from template so we can see at the moment the instance has just been launched we need to wait until it goes into a running state after that uh, we're going to gather the information the, the local admin password for the machine and we're going to tag it with the appropriate name we're going to manage do some work with the volumes and finally we're going to join the machine to the domain um, it's quite a long-winded process so I'm going to use some camera trickery to speed that up a little bit so we should see the the machine join to the domain and if I refresh our request we can see in the automation portal it now shows that that has successfully been deployed I'm going to grab the host name there I'm just going to check that we can resolve the name of that machine so that's good that resolves nicely and let's uh, log straight into the machine with terminal services so I'm just going to paste that in there and you can see I'm logging in with my domain credentials because the machine has been joined into the domain and hopefully in just a second we should see our completed Windows Server 2016 virtual machine so there you go thank you very much for watching this introduction to the VM provisioning and management solution if you'd like more information about this or any of our other solutions please visit www.calvary.com